Good morning, everybody. It's 1030 and I'm going to get ready to get started here this morning. Hopefully you guys are having a great hump day Wednesday. All right. Halfway through the week today. We're going to get ready to rock and roll soon here with the 1979 top set. And we will go over this one. Um, it looks like this this year they did drop the, the quantity. Of course, um, it's 600. Uh, no, how many cards are in this set? Does it really say? Dun, dun, dun. 726 cards. Okay. So we're going to get ready to rock and roll on this. And then after we do finish highlighting these cards here, we'll have a... Uh, a hanger box war for a Walmart and a Target hanger box to see what we can pull in these. This will be my last hanger box war. I've got four more Walmarts, and it looks like Walmarts has been winning out. So from here on, I've got four more hanger boxes left for the uh, 2020 Top Series 1. I know Heritage is coming out this week, I believe. So this week, Heritage should be out. So I know people will start opening Heritage. I always get behind the power curve. For some reason, it takes us a while to get the product out here. And I still have not seen any of the uh, tins in my Walmart or Target stores. So I don't know if they're going to make it out this way or not. But uh, I did check with the Walmarts. They said they hadn't seen them yet here. So maybe they're just later in the in the in the supply chain i don't know exactly but uh or maybe their order department didn't get their order in for their boxes so we will do a tops 2020 hanger box war for a walmart and a target box after we finish this up nobody in the chat yet but i am going to get into our content at hand sometimes people are busy sometimes people can't make it but let's get ready to rock and roll with our 1979 tops. So when the time came to open the 1979 season, they used the same words they always use, but they got different people to say them. When play ball was shouted in Major League ballparks, the regular umpires weren't there. The lawyer who represented the umpires said it wasn't a strike, it was more of an action. In any case, the umpires didn't come to work. Each league hired minor league umpires to be crew chiefs and advised the clubs to arrange for local amateur umpiring organizations to provide three men per game. In the beginning, everything went relatively calmly, recognizing that the men on the field were not of major league caliber the players and managers didn't kick up too many fusses but as time went on that consideration went by the boards the same people who had been so critical of the regular empires now set up a cry to bring them back some unusual situations developed in a game at Shea Stadium. The fill-in umpires reversed themselves twice during an argument that lasted for 28 minutes. And when they finally came up with a compromise decision, both managers played the game under protest. Finally, on May 17th, an agreement was reached. The next day, the 52 regular Major League umpires met and ratified the arrangement. The next day, they went back to work. The umpire's strike now settled. Let us turn our attention to the Yankee Stadium where there was the chase of whether or not reinstated manager Billy Martin had ordered a pitcher to throw at an opposing batter. Meanwhile, the defending world champions were making their way to a fourth place finish in their division. And now as we take our leave, we find that Billy has been fired again and Dick Hauser is the new manager. One last thought on the subject, if you might feel that all of this, including the fall into fourth place, was turned off to the fans, be advised that the attendance at Yankee Stadium was the second highest in American League history. Overall, the attendance figures were up again, but the contrast between the, the haves and the have-nots was bigger than ever. Oakland for the year, drew 306,373. The Dodgers for the year drew 9.3 times the Oakland figure, or 
2,860,954. Ten years ago, the Oakland figure would have been bad, but with the escalating salaries, it was tragic. The poorer clubs were having trouble holding on to their stars. In 1969, the average major league salary was just under $25,000 a year. In 1979, it was just over $120,000 a year. Two more players, Lou Brock and Carl Yastrzemski, reached the select group of players who collected 3,000 hits. Brock, in addition, had another goal. Before the turn of the century, a player named Sliding Billy Hamilton had established an all-time record for stolen bases. The standards were different then, with a player being credited with a stolen base if he went from first to third on a single. Brock, having erased Ty Cobb's modern mark, was anxious to pass Sliding Billy, too. And he did. He stole 21 bases, giving him a lifetime total of 938. One more than Hamilton. These goals achieved. Brock retired. The Orioles beat the Angels in the American League playoffs, and the Pirates beat the Reds in the National League. The World Series went seven games to the final, one being decided approximately appropriately enough, by a Willie Stargell home run. Stargell was chosen most valuable player in the playoff and in the World Series, along with sharing the National League MVP honors with Keith Hernandez, the batting champion. It was a good year for pitching brothers. Ken Forsh pitched a no-hitter as his brother had the year before, so they became the only brothers in history to pitch no-hitters. Then there was Phil Necro, who tied for most victories in the National League with his brother Joe, and a rookie pitcher named Pat Underwood made his major league debut for Detroit with a 1-0 victory over Toronto, losing pitcher Tom Underwood. At the Hoopla in Yankee Stadium, All the hoopla in Yankee Stadium was overshadowed by the tragic airplane accident that killed their captain, Thurman Munson. He was 32. So the cards in this set, Kevin's card collecting's in the house. Just me and you right now, it looks like, Kevin. I don't know. It says there's four people in the stream, but just one chatting, I guess. But good morning, Kevin. Thanks for hopping in with me. So I'm not here all by myself. (laughs) But that's okay. So the cards... Cards um, 411 to 418 featured some of the all-time and single-season record holders. Of the 12 different players pictured, only three are not in the Hall of Fame. The 726-card set also includes leader cards, cards number 1 through 8, and the 1978 record breakers, 201 through 206, which pitcher Ron Guidry, J.C. Richard, and Pete Rose. Brand new were the team prospect cards, card number card number 701 to 726 to round out the set, which showed for the first time Pedro Guerrero, Alani Smith, Terry Kennedy, and Terry Kennedy. Bump Wills was originally shown in error as a Blue Jay. The corrected card with Rangers is listed at $5.50. So there we go. Aaron Kinski. Can you hold those cards for me? I sent you the money in March. I have... I I send you the money in March. I have some issues with my health. Need to get more medicine. I will send the money in March to you. Good thing you hopped in here, Aaron, because I had been waiting for a while and hadn't received the payment. And I was just getting ready to give those cards back up. But I will set them aside, put the sticker back on here. Good thing you happened to pop into the stream today, because I was pretty close to giving up on you there, brother. So I will th- I will set this back aside. Let me put it in a little uh, in a little team bag here with the sticker on it. Yep. Today I was like, okay, I don't think Aaron's going to pay up, and I haven't seen him in a little while, so. But I will put these aside for you then. Trust me, I was just getting ready to do that. 
I just, before I went on the stream, I just uh, taken your post-it note off. And uh, there, I just put it back in the bag, so I will have it here. Remember, it was $27 plus $4 shipping for a total of $31. So I will... I will give you till the middle of March. If I don't get payment by then, I'm going to have to just, at my next sale, I might just try and sell them again. But thanks for ta stopping in and at least telling me what was going on there, Aaron. Because I almost got ready to get them into my next sale. Appreciate that. Kevin says, happy to be here. How you doing, Kevin, health-wise? You doing a little bit better, hopefully? I sure hope you are. So we are, again, as long as I get some more people to show up and stuff, we will do the, the hanger, back, hanger box war here, a Walmart hanger box and a Target hanger box. We'll see which one of these two win the war, who has the best hits in them. Um, that's why I kind of like to do the comparison between the Walmart and the, the Target products. Sometimes they get different because, of course, the uh, the Target uh, boxes have the Vladimir Guerrero and the Rice Hoskins are in the uh, Walmart cards. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up these two packs at the end of the stream here. So without further ado, um, oh, I want to get something else ready here. Sorry about that, guys. I'll get something ready for the end of the program here behind me. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to get ready to undock, um, undock my phone like I usually do. Let me turn the page and get ready to go over these cards. I do like this throwback here because um, you can see on the cards here. You can see the way they had the Tops logo, which is some of the short prints on some of the newer products that they have out. They do put the, the little logo here. Uh, let me see if I can... Well, we will see it when I highlight the cards, but that's the little top single with the little loop underneath. All right. So without further ado, let me undock here. And because my phone is a little bit lower on battery, I am going to leave it plugged in. Hopefully I don't get the cord in the way. But we will get ready to go through the cards in this set. Okay. So hopefully you guys are having a good Wednesday. If by chance I miss somebody hopping into the screen, if you do get a chance, if you could just welcome them that's fine i'd appreciate it if you could if not i understand i know kevin's probably at work as far as i know so um there we go you can see the little the little tops logo there that's the way um just like the the one that aaron has here on the top of his um card from last year you can see this one is the short print. The short print versions did have that listed there, which is kind of neat. The little Tops logo, like the old style back here in 1979. Okay. So let me set that back over here out of the way. And we'll continue on going through here. Okay. So hopefully you guys are having a great day as we go through this set. Um, things are, the weather's kind of strange. It's supposed to be partly sunny today, but the sun hasn't popped out yet. And then after today and part of tomorrow, it's going to rain for the next week again. So, Paul Molitor there with the Brewers. I'll just pretty much name out some of the players that I knew from back in the day from watching Joe Morgan National League All-Star 
Steve Carlton with the Philadelphia Phillies. Remember Steve Carlton? Watching him pitch when I was growing up. Actually, this was actually right after I went into the military. I went in in 1978. Dave Winfield. There you go, Kevin. Dave Winfield with the San Diego Padres. After I finish up today, I have to record some more episodes for my Bible reading. I was hoping to get some yesterday, but things came up and wasn't able to. So I got to work on that this afternoon to get some more episodes ready. Dennis Eckersley with the Boston Red Sox. There's a Minnesota Twins team card there. Oh no, Ron Bloomberg. Sorry, just had to throw that one in there. Al Raboski with the Royals. Kurt Beck, Bav, Bev, you guys can say that. <laughs> that was a nice win field. There we go. Steve Garvey, National League All-Star with the Dodgers. John Hale with the Seattle Mariners. The hat that I'm actually wearing today would probably... I should have almost... I noticed and I was like, no, I already said I was going to wear this hat. But should have waited till 1981. Because it's a throwback Mariners cap from 81 to 86. For the year when they had the logo that's on the cap that I'm wearing today. But you'll get to see that at the end of the stream today before I sign off. Joe Necro with the Astros. All right. Going to go ahead and turn the page here. All right. We're getting close to finishing up this book. And then we'll get into... Well, once we get up to 1986, it's in the final book in this set that I'm working on. So, there you go, New York Mets team card there. Sally would be happy with these. They've got a bunch, mostly smiles on the cards here. For the most part, not necessarily all the time. Aaron Kinski, can you hold those cards for me? I sent. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, Rereading chat because I'm thinking the chat. I thought I saw the chat move, but it didn't. But that's fine. So yes, I will hold those cards a little bit longer. I almost gave up Robin Yell with the Brewers. That's a younger Robin Yount there. Trying to remember for sure when Robin Yount's rookie year was. Jim Bibby with the Pirates. Shout out to Eric and John Jabs. John Wathan with the Kansas City Royals. Tom Seaver with, our, with the Reds. Oh, no, they're, they're smaller than the actual cards, Kevin. They're probably about um, let's see. Well, if I put my finger here, you'll kind of see. There's my index finger there, Kevin. So you can kind of, I don't have super big ends, but <laughs> that kind of gives you an eye of, there's my thumb. There's my thumb. 
okay here probably if I put my whole hand in there I can almost almost cover three cards about two and a half size wise just kind of gives you a bearing of the side They're they're pretty much like a little bit larger than a thumbnail I would call it but it is kind of nice to just uh, so when I zoom in and hold the camera right over the card it does make it look bigger there's National League All-Star Vita Blue with the Giants Philadelphia Phillies team card hopefully that helps out as far as the bearing on the size of the cards in the book definitely probably about probably about a quarter in just a second here I'll give you a comparison I'll get a regular sized baseball card and set them and you that, that way you can kind of see the size comparison if I had a 1979 tops handy I could probably get you a closer comparison between the two cards but got it thanks <laughs> no problem Kevin um, yeah as soon as I finish this page here real quick I'll put a regular sized car card next to, next to them okay that's kind of neat because the 85 throwbacks for this year We'll be catching up. We'll be able to show the actual 85 cards in the book. It, they should be actually in the end of this book. There's the iconic Ozzy Smith card. There's uh, Tom Peart with the Seattle Mariners. On go. All right. Let's see. Let me get a regular card. Okay, so here's like a regular card today there, Kevin. And if I put it over four of these cards, you can slightly see the outlines underneath. So a regular card fills about, will cover up four cards in the book here, roughly. A little bit smaller than, well, if they weren't spaced it would probably be pretty pretty close because if I put this up here and the little different space the the gap between the cards I would say they're probably yeah it's probably about one-fourth the size of a regular card so I just wanted to throw that comparison in there for you let's see where did that Ozzy Smith go he was talking about Probably went right by it, huh? Okay. Let's go ahead and continue on here with our next page in the book. All right, Rick Roden with the Indians, or the Dodgers, I mean. Dwight Evans with the Red Sox. Rick Saron with the Blue Jays. Right. Don Sutton there with the Dodgers. Let's see here. 
Randy Jones with the Padres. <laughs> I like that. They're a lot smaller than I thought. Yeah, I know. It, it is deceiving because when I do highlight them like this, I make them look more full size. Which is... There we go. Here's some of the record breaker cards. Pete Rose. Uh, J.R. Richard. Ron Guidry. Mike Edwards. There we go. There's a Johnny Bench with the Reds. Larry Melbourne with the Seattle Murders. More record breakers down here. John Stearns. Sammy Stewart. Right. Larry Boa with National League All-Stars, Philadelphia Phillies. Even though this is 79, I remember watching watching him in the early 70s before I went into the Navy. Uh, the Boston Red Sox team card. Denny Martinez with the Orioles. Rich Goose Gossage when he was with the New York Yankees. Kent Tecove with the Pirates. Eric and shout out to Eric and John Japs. I seen an interesting video the other day on John Jabs. The past is alive. I think it was his channel. And he did some Rale Raleigh Fingers. Uh, packs. I'm gonna do something similar to that upcoming in my channel for a box opening. I always like finding some of that oddball type stuff. So I went snooping around and found two boxes. So we'll be opening a box of that Raleigh Fingers product, kind of like John. Jabs, the past is alive, did the other day. If you haven't seen that video, you can go to his channel and see that. So I'll be opening up one of those, I guess you'd call it like a hobby pack, repack product. So just want to do something like that. Coming up here. I guess it was it's, it's a repack product from uh, Raleigh Fingers personal collection. I guess he repackaged all his product and put put in inserts and redemptions. I'm hoping that the redemption still might be good, hopefully, but probably not at this time and age. Does anybody know if Raleigh Fingers is still alive? It would be very interesting if they had his redemptions in there and they didn't all get claimed yet. Julio Gonzalez there with the Astros. Butch Hobson with the Red Sox. Jim Colburn with the Seattle Mariners. Toronto Blue Jays team card. All right, he's he is still around seventy three and living in Ohio. So yeah, I'll try and figure out 
when I want to open up one of those boxes for one of these days after one of my uh, history lessons. That's adding history with history. Who know, maybe, maybe what I should probably do is just uh, do Raleigh Fingers' as a biography and then afterwards open up the box from his collection. I think I might do that. I'll do that maybe in the next week or two. Is do uh, Raleigh Fing Raleigh Fingers' biography. Of course, everybody knows him from his wonderful mustaches that he had. And then uh, that would be an awesome combination. Do his biography and then open up a hobby box of 36 packs. Now, the more I'm thinking about it and stuff, maybe I should do that next week. Or wait, no. Let's see, I did team yesterday. I could do it this week. We could do that tomorrow. I could do Raleigh Fingers. Mill City Wax. How you doing? Thanks for popping into the stream here, Mill City Wax. Appreciate you being with us today again. Sorry, I just got to check something real quick here. Where did I put that? Okay. Sorry. I lost track of what I was doing here for a second. Mill, Mill City Wax caught me off guard there. I looked up in the chat and saw Mill, Mill City Wax here. Um, hope you're having a good day there, Steve. Appreciate what you are doing on the channel. I like your style. Uh... What area of the country are you there, uh, Mill City Wax? Are you back east somewhere? That would be my guess, but I could, I've been known to be wrong in the past. But appreciate you being here. I've been following his new and upcoming channel. I really like his, his content style. Central Massachusetts. All right. Up in the New England area. That is cool. So, are you undoubtedly a uh, Boston Red Sox fan there? I think I'm off on where I where I went here because I ended the page the wrong way. Carl Yastrzemski with the Boston Red Sox. There we go. Gaylord Perry with the Padres. All right. Oh, you're a Cubby fan. All right, Chicago Cubby. There you go, Lynn McLaughlin with the Cubs, <laughs> back in the day, 1979. All right, let's get back on track here, Blondal. All right, but yeah, so maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll do Raleigh Fingers tomorrow and open up one of his Hoppy Boxes. It's a repackaged product that uh, the past is alive did, John Japs, here recently on his channel. And I'll keep the keep the run going. Uh, when he did mention that, and I saw that, I went online, checked uh, eBay, and got two boxes at a fairly, actually, pretty good price. The shipping had to come priority, so I did not mind paying the priority for the shipping to get it here in a timely fashion. But other than that, there we go, Jim Palmer, American League All Star, forty Orioles. Yak pack. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes. That'll be fun tomorrow for a little change of pace from the 2020 tops. We'll see what we could find in that box. That, 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 that'll that actually be fun, I think. Do something different for a change on the channel. And I'll have to pull a couple of Raleigh Fingers cards out from my collection and highlight them at the same time. All right. I have a box of 87. I think I'm thinking of cracking it open. That is cool. Yeah, most of my old wax that I did have in my... There's Alan Trammell with the Tigers that I did have, I have since opened on my channel. 
through. It will be coming up on a year that I've been doing YouTube as a baseball card channel. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm pretty much fresh out of most of my wax pack stuff, except for the stuff I use for my Patreon page, where I send people packs in the mail that subscribe to my Patreon channel or my Patreon page, not channel. It's tied in with my YouTube channel. There you go, Juan Bernhardt with the Seattle Mariners. But yeah. <clears throat> Need to run out for a bit. I hope to be back before you end. Oh, I'm sure you will there, Kevin. I'm sure we'll be gone for at least an hour, probably. For the most part. Usually I do roughly about an hour and a half each day. And I did start promptly at about 10.30. So that would put us right about noon to go ahead and finish up today. But we'll go through this and then we'll do the, uh, the hanger pack war with the Walmart and Target uh, hanger box. All right. Bill Verdon with the Houston Astros with the, the Astrodome in the background. Right. So hopefully everybody is doing well. There we go. Now I know I'm on the right track. I'm ending the page the right way. Raleigh Fingers, there he is. Speak of the mystery man for tomorrow. Raleigh Fingers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Talking about him, then we... Shortly thereafter, we come up with his card. There's Bill Plummer with the Seattle Mariners. In case you haven't figured it out, Mill City Wax, I am a Seattle Mariner fan, tried and true to the blue. That's one of the phrases we use here in the Seattle world. True to the blue. Butch Weiniger with the Twins. Tim Foley with the Mets. All right. Here we come up with the all-time record holders. These are, this was a little uh, set they put in here. Um, season and career for hits. Runs batted in. Hack Wilson, Hank Aaron, of course, George Sisler, Ty Cobb for the other one. Home runs, Roger Maris and Hank Aaron. Sorry, I'm going to take these in order. It'll throw us off again at the end of the page. But Rogers Hornsby. And Ty Cobb for career bat season and career batting average. Season stolen bases for Lou Brock and Lou Brock. He holds both. Back in 1979, all-time record holders, Jack Cheesebro and Cy Young. All-time record holders, season Nolan Ryan and career Walter Johnson. An earned run average season, Dutch Leonard and Walter Johnson yet again. Then we go back to regular cards. Finish off here. Here we go. Ken Griffey Sr. It's Ken Griffey Sr. there with the Cincinnati Reds. He played most of his career there, but he did play with Seattle just for a little bit. Rupert Jones with the Seattle Mariners. California Angels team card. And finishing off this page down here. Bobby Valentine with the New York Mets. Right, he's 
are awesome looking cards. I like the cards back in the good old days. Of course, some people don't like that old Astros uniform. The colors. Bruce Bochy with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Rusty Staub with the Tigers. Yeah, I, I kind of like the colors myself, but I know there's a lot of, like, Houston fans that didn't like that old color for some reason. Uh, just like the, the Pittsburgh Pirates old uniforms. A lot of the old uniforms, it's nice when they do the throwbacks and they, and they bring those out to show the fans and stuff. They'll wear them for special events or anniversaries for the team for those, when they were using those colors. Just like at the end of the video here, I'll show you my new ball cap I got. Um, I'm always looking for discounts and stuff. And this one was a pretty good price. Could not resist getting it and adding it to my hat collection. I'll be showing part of that towards the end here. Bruce Sutter with the Cubs. There you go there, Mill City Wax. Bruce Sutter for the Chicago Cubs. Back in the day. Greg Nettles with the Yankees. John or Don Kessinger with the White Sox. Okay. Getting close to about two thirds of the way through the set. Dave Roberts with the Cubs. Shout out to Mill City Wax. Now I know what his favorite team is. He uh, missed the old Pirates painter's hat. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All those unique uniform style types from some of the different ball clubs back in the day. All right. Craig Reynolds. The Seattle Mariners. There's our check, famous checklist cards that everybody loves. Bucky Dent with the New York Yankees. Tippy Martinez with the Orioles. Larry Cox with the Chicago Cubs. Mill City Wax. So we're only a few people today. Must be an off day, middle of the week. Spring training's in full swing. Some might be watching spring training baseball games. I usually watch some of the replays and go through. My DVR is set to record any of the Mariners spring training that gets televised. Glenn Abbott up there with the Seattle Mariners. Ron Guidry with the Yankees. There we go, the Texas Rangers. Team card there. All right. Just past the two thirds mark here. All right. So let's see. Yeah. On so on the East Coast for you there, Mill City, it's what, about 2.15 in the afternoon there? That's cool that you can join us here. You go to work early in the day and then you get off early afternoon? Or do you have just a, a flexible schedule? In case you are wondering more information about me, I are, I'm originally from New Jersey. But believe it or not, when I was born back in 1958, my dad was stationed in... Oh, I'm in work before 6 a.m. and out at 3.30, usually. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was born in Wakefield, Rhode Island. 
I'm here today, doll. Thanks, there, Robert. Thanks for watching us here. Appreciate that. Robert Posada, one of my faithful channel viewers and Patreon members, along with Kevin's Card Collecting. Appreciate it when my Patreons are checking out and being in the channel. Yeah, Robert, uh, go ahead and check out Mill City Wax. Check in, get on board his bus. Welcome us, welcome him to our family. All right, Leroy Stanton with the Seattle Mariners. All right. So other than that, everything just roll along here. On through this 1979 Topps baseball set. So that means next week we get into uh, 1980. We'll be moving up into the 80s and getting ready to wrap up this series here. See what I can do about continuing the Topps baseball card sets through um, the newer years, starting after 1986. There's a, there's the Chicago Cubs. Neat thing there, Mill City Wax. Do you know any reason why they did their team cards like this? They're the only club I've seen here in the last few videos where their team card, when it comes up to it, it has their little portrait shots there. Kind of like that. Individual portrait shots. Or is that just the, the way they decided they wanted to do that? Just kind of curious on that. I could never figure that one out. Enrique Romo with the Seattle Mariners. Yeah, the floating heads. That's I guess that's one name for it. The floating heads. Just floating around on the card there. That's the way they did it for quite a few years here. Not sure. I have noticed that as well. Just figured since you were a Cubby fan, maybe you might have known. But that's okay. Ed Ott. wonder if he was related to Mel Ott back in the day. Could be. Ott is not too common a name. Jerry Turner with the San Diego Padres. Oh, didn't have the bell on, but now you do. All right, don't forget, Robert, make sure you watch one of his videos so so you get credit for staying on board his bus. That's one of the things people don't necessarily do properly sometimes. So you might gain a temporary subscription from somebody. And then when YouTube does their purge, if you haven't followed all the steps, like, comment, and subscribe. Like the video when you like it, and make sure you comment and watch that video in its entirety. It's a small bus. Don't worry there, Mill City Wax. Keep showing up here. I don't have a lot, but I am monetized. They do have over a 1,000 subscribers. So we will try to get you some more people on board your bus. All right. Just wanted to let you know that. We're here to help in any way possible. Uh, I think I've wa I'm pretty sure I've watched all your content unless you posted up something very recently. But I, anytime I welcome and get with a new channel, I like to try and support them as much as possible to try and help their channel grow. And then what we can do on that too is just to, to share out your content on our social media platforms. I do have... Um, over 5,000 people that follow me on Facebook. So I do post there too. Um, sometimes when I do my stream yards, I stream yard on both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So, Ethan's Elvis covers and more. How are you doing, sir? Thanks for popping into the stream here. I appreciate you. Appreciate you very much. We're up to five people. We're really rolling here. <laughs> no, I just, whether whether there's one person in it, if I was doing it by myself, I'd still be putting up my content. Doesn't matter. Working on something now. 
that auto lot I bought. I'm buying a bunch more from the same seller, but I have a fun and interesting story about one of the autographed programs I bought. That is cool. That is very cool there, Mill City Wax. Appreciate all that you do there in your young channel there, Steve. Nice to have you join us today, that's for sure. Phil Negro with the Braves. There you go. Thanks, Elvis. Ethan's Elvis covers and more. Just got on board. Mill City Wax's channel. Cool. Kind of interesting how there's a big group on the East Coast that kind of hang out together. There's a big group on the West Coast. There's a group in the Central United States and the South and the North. But, you know, we could just be one big happy family on YouTube. That is for sure. Rick Monday with the Dodgers. Thanks for joining us, Rick Monday, on a Wednesday. Mike Schmidt with the Philadelphia Phillies. Kevin's card collecting and more is back in the channel. Thanks, Kevin. He's back. And yes, you did make it. See, we're only in the 600s. We still got a little ways to go. There we go. Rick Honeycutt with the Seattle Mariners. Ken Singleton with the Baltimore Orioles. Billy Allman with the San Diego Padres. <clears throat> New York Yankees team card. Dell Unser with the Montreal Expos. Okay, Ethan, that's cool. That's right, you made your next level for your number of subscribers on your channel, right? Teacher's Bot is here for English Teacher in France. Thanks for hopping in there, young lady. Appreciate you showing the love in the channel here. Um, it's funny. I was like, I know that's Teacher's Bot, but I subscribed. You can actually subscribe to Teacher's Bot. But then her actual channel name is, of course, English, um, English, English Teacher in France. English teacher in France is her actual channel name, so you could subscribe to both if you want to give her two two subscriptions. But that that's very interesting. Is it a bot or a real person? I don't know for sure how she's got her 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 bot, but her bot is actually got a bunch of subscriptions too. So I said, okay, sounds good to me. I'm going to subscribe to her bot too. <laughs> I imagine she maintains both. Um, I haven't figured out how the, the robot features work on the streams, but I know some people like to use them for the type of streaming that they do. So that's why I think it's kind of interesting. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to uh, Teacher's Bot and English Teacher in France. Uh, Lou Pinello there when he was a ball player before he became a manager. National League All-Star Pete Rose for the Reds. Stan Pappy with the Expos. There we go, the Seattle Mariners team card. Oh, look at that. They did that in front of the Kingdom. You can see the King Kingdom behind them there. Taylor Duncan with the Oakland A's. Lou Brock with the St. Louis Cardinals. Getting close to ending up this series here. Another page and a few more on the last page. Oh, 
could you imagine getting and these sets being card number 666 Rich Dar of the Baltimore Orioles Tim McCarver with the Philadelphia Phillies Johnny Sutton with the Twins Larry Parrish with the Expos Dan Meyer with the Mariners All-Star Carlton Fisk with the Boston Red Sox. Okay, uh, Ethan's having a sale tomorrow, guys. Make sure you check out his sale. He does awesome sales. I'll have to see if uh, I can make it tomorrow. I, so far, I don't believe I've got anything scheduled for that. So most likely, I will try to be there, Ethan. and see what I can contribute to the cause. Yeah, I know it hasn't been, it has been a couple of weeks. You didn't do a sale this last week. But it's good. It kind of gave my checkbook a, a, a little reprieve. <laughs> so I've decided to jump on board with SSP. He did a, uh, a hobby box and I think he's gonna do a, a heritage uh, box break. Actually, two boxes of heritage. I think he's got he's got coming in. So, oh, been busy with midterms. Yes, studies have to take precedence before the other stuff. That is true. Reggie Jackson, American Lake All Star. Here we go. Oriole prospects. So we got some prospect cards here coming up. Gonna do this a little bit differently here. Go through the prospects in order. Red Sox, Angels, White Sox, Cleveland Indians, Tigers, Royals, Brewers, then we got the Twins, Hats McGee, Hastros McGee, I'm sorry, uh, Twins, Yankees, Oakland Athletics, Seattle Mariners, Prospects back in the day, Rangers, Texas Rangers, all right few more cards on the last page and then we'll be wrapping up this set here get into our hanger box war here Let's see which box we do best in reds astros dodgers all right one more page to go and we'll finish things up here we do with a sneak preview shot of next week's 1980 Topps baseball card set. So here we got the Expos, the Mets, the Phillies, the Pirates prospects, the Cardinals prospects. There we go, the San Diego Padres prospects. And last but not least, we have the San Francisco Giants prospects. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that today. I'll leave this party note shot here for next week. Next week, we'll be doing the 1980 top set. So we'll be getting into the 1980s next. So hold on just a second there. Let me dock my, uh, dock my phone here real quick and get our, our top baseball card set book put away to make room on my break table here. Right. Get that up there. Out of the way. And then let's reposition my phone here to the break table. Get our two hanger boxes out. We've got the Walmart and we've got the Target. Let's see. 
lay flat. There we go. Now it's laying flat. All right. So let's see here. Let me put my face in there. Get this up in the spot here. Now we gotta we gotta have you guys vote. Which one do you want me to open first? Which one do you want me to open first? All right. We've got the Walmart on the left, the Target on the right. Let's see, we got eight people in the stream. Hopefully we don't. So let's see, one, one vote for the Walmart. One vote for the Walmart. Two votes for the Walmart. Oh, yeah, two votes for the Walmart, one for the Target. All right. So we've got two two votes here, one vote here. Uh oh. Another vote for the target. We got a tie. Who's going to break the tiebreaker next? Two Walmarts, two targets. Dun dun dun. We need to get another vote in here. Astro says Target. All right. If we can get one more to tip tip the scale, it shows seven people in the stream. Hats broke the tie. There we go. Okay. So we'll open up the Target first, and then we will get into the Walmart. Let me put up a couple of uh, couple of stands here so we can get our product there. Let's see. I'll leave that so you can still see that there. Get a couple of stands here. I got my penny sleeves and top loaders off to the left here in case I need to throw anything in the box. But we'll go ahead and open up this tar target box first. All right. All right. So we'll get this here. We'll get the, the pack opened up. Put the, the better type hits toward the bottom of the. So this is what I usually like to do here. Just save the better cards for the very end here. All right. I'll take the first half of the stack, roughly about 30 cards, and we'll go ahead and go through these real quick and see which wins the Target Art of Walmart. Okay, so Carlos Rondon with the Chicago White Sox. Hunter Renfro, Renfro with the San Diego Padres, Kevin Scar Collecting. Kyle Hendricks, Chicago Cubs. Um, Gregory Polanco with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Raphael Devers with the Boston Red Sox. No rookie cards yet. Uh, JT Realmuto with the Philadelphia Phillies. Zach Greinke with the Houston Astros. Taylor Rogers with the Minnesota Twins. Alex Bregman with the Houston Astros. There we go. We got a Kyle Lewis with the Seattle Mariners. Here's some rookie cards coming up. Uh, Bubba Starling with the Kansas City Royals. J.D. Martinez with the Boston Red Sox. Brad Keller with the Kansas City Royals. Anibal Sanchez with the Washington Nationals. Um, there we go. Uh, mm. Marwin Gonzalez with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Milky Cabrera with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to J Eric John Jabs. Here we go. We got a league leaders card. Jose Abreu with the Chicago White Sox. All right. Gliber Torres with the New York Yankees. Garrett Cole with the Houston Ad Astros league leader. 
Caleb Smith with the Miami Marlins. Max Scherzer, World Series Highlights card. All right, Emilio Pagan with the Tampa Bay Rays. Justin Verlander with the Houston Astros League Leader. All right, some sideways cards here. Uh, Brock Holt with the Boston Red Sox. Enrique Hernandez with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Michael Chavez with the Boston Red Sox Future Stars. Brian Anderson with the Miami Marlins. Boom Slang's in the house. How you doing there, Boom Slang? Nice to have you joining in with us today, Boom Slang. Appreciate you being here. Milwaukee Brewers. Max Stassi. Max Stassi with the California Angels. Adrian Mor Morjon. San Diego Padres rookie card. And last card in the first half of the pack. Daniel Pol Polka with the Chicago White Sox. Um, I've been looking. I haven't found any yet that I'm aware of. I I always do. Usually I'll double check afterwards. Yeah, we really did. At least five. Oh, was there some without the silver tops on here? There's one there. And you got to be careful on the sideways cards. They put them on the side. But um, I don't think I remember seeing any so far. Yeah, not in this pack. Did you find some, Ethan? Yeah, we really did. So I guess they are out there. That is pretty cool. All right, go into the second half of our pack here. All right. So Jose Par Peraza with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Kirby Yates with the San Diego Padres. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? John Gray with the Colorado Rockies. Oh, no, that's, that's okay. That's okay, Ethan. Um, Michael Brousseau with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. Um, Tyler White with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Dustin May rookie card for the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. Um, Nico Horner with the Chicago Cubs. Rookie card, Justin Turner with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh, Domingo Santana with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Um, Evan Longoria with the San Francisco Giants. Jordan uh, Zimmerman with the Detroit Tigers. Um, Abraham Toro with the Houston Astros. Rookie card. Adalberto Mondese with the Kansas City Royals. Jose Urena with the Miami Marlins. Um, Randy Arazarina, rookie card for the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Eric Fed with the Washington Nationals. Some sideways cards here. Uh, Luis Castillo with the Cincinnati Reds. Yomer Sanchez with the Chicago White Sox. Um, Zach Collins with the Chicago White Sox. Rookie card. Uh, Matt Carpenter with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Craig Kimbrell, I always liked his pitching stance there. It's like he's, like like he's a a hawk getting ready to go in for the kill. 
<laughs> Craig Kimbrell with the Chicago Cubs. Milwaukee Brewers team card. Um, Christian and Nolan games best talk shop. There we go. Like father, like son. Legacy players Biggio and Bichette. Cavin Biggio. Cavin Biggio, future star. And here we go. We got our uh, variation card here. Shane Bieber with the Cleveland Indians. That's the little rainbow foil card. Kind of threw that in there. This is a this is a short print card. Uh, Blake Trennan with the Oakland Athletics. You can see this one here. It's a short print right there. 605 out of 2020. All right. Here's our Vladimir Guerrero insert card. All right. I think they usually put two, unless you get a bonus. I've gotten a bonus every once in a while. Two Vladimir Guerrero, uh, a walk, a week to remember, and bump and jump. All right. Then we've got here, we've got our 1980s decades best, Don Mattingly. Oh, there we go. A 1985 throw pack, throwback card. Chris Paddock with the San Diego Padres. And now next we've got our turkey cards coming up. All right. We've got um, that Walker Bueller. Um, we've got the Jordan Alvarez rookie card. And then the Jose Ramirez. And the Ozzy Albies with the Atlanta Braves for our turkey cards. So there we have it so far. Boom. There we go. Alvarez turkey card. <laughs> Alvarez turkey card right there. That's right. The Alvarez rookie card. Boom. <laughs> As Ethan says. All right. There we go. So I guess the Alvarez uh, rookie card in the turkey is pretty good. Of course, we've got the, this one here, the variation card, the foil. And then we've got the short print here, the Blake Trennan, 605 out of 2020, and our subsets. So that covers pretty much there the... The, the target box there. Now we'll get ready to open up the Walmart, the Walmart box, okay? So let me set these up out of the side here in case we want to go back through any of those. Beautiful Yordan. All right, put those there. Put my two Mariners down here with my Kyle Lewis rookie card. Get that penny sleeved and top loaded for my rookies for the Seattle Mariners this year. And set those cards aside. Let's see what we get in our Walmart box. Uh, so was somebody spamming in? Oh, there you go. Oh, my... That's pretty neat. That did take effect. Okay. Streamlabs. That's my Streamlabs bot. Sorry, guys. I do have Streamlabs in there helping me now. Um, so it says, please refrain from spamming in caps. <laughs> wow, hats got slammed by the bot. I'm learning how the robots work. That way when I'm not paying attention in the stream and I don't have many moderators. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Sorry, Kevin. No problem. That's my little robot. It's starting to work for me. <laughs> I got I to gotta go into the settings and see how I can work on that too. Bo Bichette rookie card right on top. Isn't that cool? The Bo Bichette. Yeah. Kevin, or, or Ethan just saw that, the Bo Bichette rookie card right on top. Too bad it's not the short print, right? Ethan already has one of the Bo Bichette short print cards.
Boom. Yeah, <laughs> he even says that one right off the top. I'm going to do that before I do switch these real quick. Let me, uh, there we go. Just the normal card right underneath. Let me get that bovichette into a, a sleeve and a top loader. Bovichette on top there. There we go. That's the big hit so far in the pack. The Boba Shet. Boba Shet. Frank's card quarters in the house. Let me uh, get these switched around. There you go. Bobby Bradley. Okay, let me get the halfway mark. I don't know why it stuck that back together. I could have just kept it. I think one thing I think I have noticed with the Walmarts, that's probably why they're charging. Let's see. The hanger boxes, I believe, are, yeah, they're $9.95, but their they're, uh, blaster boxes are $10 or $11.98. So they did raise the price on the blaster boxes, which I don't mind paying a dollar something more for the box. But uh, Bobby Bradley with the Cleveland Indians, rookie card. Um, Andrew Haney with the California Angels. All right. AJ Puck, rookie card for the Oakland Athletics. Um, Sandy Alcantara with the Miami Marlins. Um, Francisco Lind Lindor with the Cleveland Indians. Jose Barrios with the Minnesota Twins. Luke Jackson with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Mike Talkman with the New York Yankees. Uh, David Price with the Boston Red Sox. Hinjin Ru with the Los Angeles Dodgers League Leader card. Mike Clevenger with the Cleveland Indians. Billy Hamilton with the Atlanta Braves. Hansel Robles with the California Angels. Sorry, I'm chopping off their heads. Uh, LaCroix Garcia with the Chicago White Sox. Nicky Lopez with the Kansas City Royals. Sean Doolittle with the Washington Nationals. Um, Brandon Belt with the San Francisco Giants. Pete Alonzo with the New York Mets League Leader card. All right, Steven Strasburg with the World Series Highlights card. Almost looked like gold card, so much dirt color in the background. Orlando Arcia with the Milwaukee Brewers. Wade Davis with the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Joey Votto, let me get this up at a different angle. Joey Votto with the Cincinnati Reds. Steven Matz, Steven Matz with the New York Mets. Um, New York Mets team card. Minnesota Twins team card. Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners. Put Marco down right here. He's on the bottom here. In case you're wondering where I put him. Let's see, get this down a little bit. There we go. There's Marco's. Uh, Lewis Thorpe with the Minnesota Twins. Wow, a lot of sideways cards in that one. All right. Now I gotta bring it back down. Uh, Matt Barnes with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Jake Arrieta. With the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Christian Vasquez with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Blake Trennan with the Oakland Athletics. And Nick Markakis with the Atlanta Braves. And Luke Volt 
with the New York Yankees. And Mike Trout with the California Angels. Rounds out that first half of the pack. So far, only card notable is the Bobichette. The Bobichette rookie card. Now we'll get into, I think, the better half of the stack. Since I stacked the deck <laughs> with everything at the end. All right. So, uh, Sonny Gray with the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, there we go. The Tatis Jr. Gold Cup card. There we go. The Tatis Jr. Gold Cup card. Set that aside for now. Put that right over here. Tim Anderson with the Chicago White Sox. Manny Machado with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Card Collecting. Uh, Dwight Smith Jr. with the Baltimore Royals. Matt Chapman with the Oakland Athletics. Sorry, get the right angle here, blown ball. Tyler Flowers with the Atlanta Braves. He's got quite the smile for Sally if she was around. <laughs> quite the smile in, in, under his mask there. Gary Sanchez with the New York Yankees. All right. Then we've got uh, Tyler Beatty, Bed, or Bead with San Francisco Giants. Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's Card Collecting. Chris Paddock. Chris Paddock, future star. Uh, Jorge Polanco with the Minnesota Twins. Get the glare off the cards, blonde doll. Domingo Santana with the Seattle Mariners. Get Domingo in up here. Um, Evan Longoria with the San Francisco Giants. Jordan Zimmerman. Or Jordan Zimmerman with the Detroit Tigers. All right. Abraham Toro with the Houston Astros rookie rookie card. Adalberto Mondese with the Kansas City Royals. Oops. Chopping off his head. Pay attention there. Close call with uh, Goodrum Hanks. On after swiping second. All right, Scott Kingery. Oh, that's right. It is. That's uh, an all-star card, American League. Um, Scott Kingery with the Philadelphia Phillies. Masahiro Tanaka with the New York Yankees. Oh, sorry about that. All right, Ian Desmond with the Colorado Rockies. Luis Castillo with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Yolmer Sanchez with the Chicago White Sox. Zach Collins with the Chicago White Sox rookie card. There we go. Matt Carpenter with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh-oh, there we go. We got our chrome turkey card here. That uh, Jeff McNeil, Jeff McNeil, with the uh, uh, Topps Chrome Turkey card. You kind of see a sneak peek of my hat in the background there. Okay, then we've got our uh, Ozzy Albies Decades Next Twenty Twenty card. That one right there for now. Aristides Aquino. It's an Aquino rookie card with the Cincinnati Reds. Aristides Aquino rookie card with our 85 throwback card. And then our Buster Posey with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Rice Hoskins or Reese Hoskins with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Aaron Judge. Oh, I can't remember if I got an Aaron Judge yet. If not, that's my first one. All right, and 
Yasiel Puig with the Cleveland Indians. So cool, cool, cool. So what do you think, guys, if you've been here for the stream? Who do you think won? Target or Walmart? Target or Walmart? Any votes there? Target wins. Astros cards 4-1 to one so far. <laughs> you can see where, where Astros McGee's leaning there toward it. Walmart won. That's right. Yes, we got the Bobachet rookie. Bobachet rookie. We got the Aquino 85 subset here. We got the Ozzy Albies Decades Best. We got the, the Jeff McNeil. Let me uh, get this chrome into a top order real quick. It is a turkey card too, but only because it's a top loadable card for sure. Along with the, the 85, but I'm not going to top load everything. Yet, I do top load some of my uh, sets that I am working on. There we go. The McNeil Chrome card for the turkeys. All right, so I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Just a few more minutes, two two minutes to go before I'll end the stream. So I did get a few Seattle Mariners here. Only four out of the out of the deck, but I did get another uh, Kyle Lewis rookie card. So four Seattle Mariners. Here's I'll put these stack cards here. Go through these. Make sure I didn't miss anything out of these guys here. But there we have it. Uh, the Walmart. The Walmart hits here. The Walmart hits on that side. The Target hits on this side. As far as what I think are the better cards in there, I haven't put out any videos in about a week because my surgery has slowed me down and is a bit painful. But I'm getting set up to go live and search some 900 count boxes I bought a while ago. That's good, Boom Slang. Glad to see you're healing up and getting better. Good stuff, Donald. Thanks there, Boom Slang. Uh, I'm to do this real quick. All right. So... Other than that, I think we're doing good. Boom slang. Feeling better. Speedy recovery. Yes. Appreciate everybody that was in the stream today. I do uh, appreciate all my subscribers in the channel. Boom slang. We do wish you and I pray. I'm praying for your speedy recovery. For your, uh, for your continued recovery there. Hopefully you'll notice something in the channel you just got a blue jacket you just got a blue jacket in case you're wondering what happened there i thought i had did that already but hadn't so i had to fix you up <laughs> thanks donald and everyone no problem there so i appreciate everybody that's been here i got my hour my hour and a half stream in which is good there's seven people watching in the stream so i appreciate everybody that is here and has been here um gonna do one thing real quick before i forget this one gotta get my kyle lewis rookie card all set up and top loaded here boom slang is now blue slang you got the wrench boom slang got a wrench yes he did Right, so there we go. I got my Kyle Lewis top loaded. Got everything good to go there. So I do appreciate everybody that's been here. And let me get ready real quick before I do sign off for today. Turn around and show you my, my new baseball cap I'm wearing. There we go. 
and you think, okay, that looks similar, but it's um, it's a special edition hat for. Uh, eventually, I wouldn't mind trying to get the series on this, but you can probably see on the top there. All right, you can probably see on the top of that there. It is a uh, subset. This is uh, their emblem during 1981 and 1986. Okay. Oops. Don't have it quite centered there, do I? Put it back on my head. <laughs> I can't get it centered on the camera. But there, you can see that probably right now. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to wrap things up for today. <laughs> There, I tried to tip it. There you go. A little bit better view of it right there. So, and of course, I'm wearing my Topps t-shirt. All right. For my Topps baseball card set. This is the one t-shirt that I use usually when I do this stream for the Topps baseball card video series. So I do appreciate everybody that was here today. Appreciate you hopping on board and being part of my, my loyal group that shows up. Uh, appreciate everybody that was here. Boom Slang, uh, Frank's Card Corner, um, everybody that was here today. Um, Hat, Hatstro's McGee. Uh, I have a spare one touch. <laughs> Ethan's Elvis Covers and more was in here. Um, Earlier we had, uh, let's see, Robert Hone showed up back in from the gym. Hi, Don. So uh, Robert might have hopped off when he didn't, when I didn't acknowledge him, maybe. But I do appreciate everybody showing up. Astros McGee, McGee, um, my Streamlabs bot actually stepping in when somebody typed in caps. Just reminding you not to do too many. Air Jordan, <laughs> Air Jordan was back there. But um do appreciate everybody that was here. Teachers bot. Um, we had uh, 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 Mill City. Mill City Wax was in here. Um, just trying to go through everybody that was in the stream today. Art Posada was here. Um, and I believe that was most everybody that was in the stream. Teachers bot, of course, was here listening. Uh, uh, English teacher in France. That's Teacher's Bot's owner. <laughs> so I do appreciate everybody that was here today. I appreciate all the support you guys give me in the channel. And do appreciate all the loyalty in the channel. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off. You guys have a great and wonderful day. Oh, Robert is still here. All right, Robert. Appreciate you stopping by and being with us today. I do appreciate everything. And without further ado, I'm going to get ready to sign off. Let me turn things around here and just go ahead and get ready to end the stream. So this is Dom Blondahl Hall of Fame Veterans Sports Cards and Collectibles having come live to you from Arlington, Washington. We will see you guys around the channels, okay? Bye for now. Take care, guys and gals.